I've got some bad news. There was an insurrection at the U.S. Capitol. No matter what the left wing or right wing media tells you about this, insurrectionists have been descending on the most sacred buildings of our government for days and days and days. They've injured Secret Service agents, they've chased the president's staff in underground bunkers, and they've done this all in defense of and in support of Iranian-backed, Jew-hating enemies of the United States. And the left, who have told us that violent protests in our nation's capital will not be tolerated, cannot be tolerated, if we're to have a free and fair democratic society. They are so silent that you could hear a pin drop. And why? Why nothing to say now? Is it because the people rioting and injuring police are their voters? And, you know, they're the ones that set the precedent that when a specific voter block breaks certain laws, the politicians that they vote for, they're going to be held accountable for their crimes. Plus, they'll be held accountable for crimes that didn't even happen, that only happened on, on TV. They don't want to talk about it. You know, they opened this box. They set this precedent. And like all things, leftists, they didn't think this through. And take a look at this. Tense moments at the White House overnight. Pro-Palestinian protesters broke through a temporary gate and riot police were trying to stop the crowd. And Washington, D.C.'s police chief says things were thrown at cops. Now, this comes just hours after strikes were launched against the Houthis in Yemen. Now, there's no reports of any injuries right now. Of course, you know, these people will never, ever be considered insurrectionists. In fact, they won't even be considered violent, even though you can see it right on your own screen. They'll be considered patriots, even though they should be considered patriots for Iran. They won't. You know, just the fact that they're exhibiting their First Amendment rights in such a beautiful and meaningful way will forever link them in history books with heroes like Paul Revere, Martin Luther King. I mean, just take a look at these two different videos of Kamala Harris and tell me in the comments, which treatment these supporters of Middle Eastern terrorists will get from our most powerful and influential leaders. Not only a place on our calendars, but a place in our collective memory. December 7th, 1941, September 11th, 2001, and January 6th, 2021. Generation after generation, on the fields of Gettysburg, in the schools of Little Rock, on the grounds of this state house, on the streets of Ferguson, and on the floor of the Tennessee House of Representatives, we the people have always fought to make the promise of freedom real. Yeah, she actually said that about the Ferguson rioters. And if we give her the opportunity, which I really, really hope that somebody does, She'll give the same treatment to these kids outside the gates screaming about Genocide Joe. The guy who she literally tried to tell them was a racist segregationist, afraid that his own kids were going to grow up in a racial jungle, I think he put it. But they didn't listen. And this is where we're at, man. Just ask yourself, if this was the kind of mob that made it into the Capitol on January 6th, what do you think would have actually happened to the artwork hanging in the rotunda. I mean, do you think that they would have stayed behind the velvet ropes? Obviously, you know the answer to that, but this is where we're at. You know, we live in a time where people who have never had a parking ticket in their entire lives rot in prison for entering a sacred building that, that many of them were led into. And that's a totally different video, totally different topic, but that's where we're at. While these pro-terrorist, anti-American, quote unquote, Patriots who injure Secret Service agents and destroy property on their way to terrorize White House staff are heroes. You know, and, and the liberals in the chat, they all clap like train seals and they support every bit of this nonsense, even when they don't want to, because they know that the beast that they have created will turn on them first if they don't give it their full and complete support. But that's just my take, guys. Let me know yours in the comments. Thought you deserved to see this. And if you like this content, guys, hit the like button. And if you love it, subscribe and join us. You know, be a part of this channel's growth. I'll see you in the next one. Keep the faith.